Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Shirley's Kitchen. Today we are making Haitian rice and beans, aka Dirikole Ak Pois. So guys, here are the ingredients you're gonna need for this dish. First, some Haitian epis. The recipe for this is on the channel. Check the description box for the link to the video. You will also need some red beans, parsley, green onions, thyme, maggi cubes, cloves, bell peppers, white rice, coconut milk, oil and an instapot or pressure cooker if you have one so guys as you can see here i have two bowls because before i cook these beans i will have to clean them to make sure that i get rid of any rocks or dirt or weird or strange looking beans that are in the package so in one bowl i'm gonna add two cups of beans and now I'm just gonna go through the beans and clean them. Now guys, I'm going to wash my beans, making sure to rub them together to get rid of any dirt that may be in them. I will repeat this process three times. Next, I add my beans to my Instapot and add six cups of water and half of a Maggi cube. Now next, I will take my green onion and cut off the top and the bottom portions. And after rinsing it, I will add it to my beans. Next, make sure your lid is on tight and cook your beans for 30 to 40 minutes. So guys, this is what your beans will look like after 30 to 40 minutes. You wanna make sure to take at least one bean out and press it between your fingers to make sure that they have in fact cooked thoroughly. Now you wanna drain your beans, separating out the beans from the water. Do not throw away the water as you're gonna be using it to cook your rice. Now on the stove, put a pot to heat up. I'm using this non-stick Emusa pot that I purchased from Walmart. Be sure to check the description box for the link, guys. I absolutely love this pot. Now to the pot, you're gonna add some oil and then some Haitian apis, and then you're going to add your beans. Next, stir it up a bit and then add two Maggi cubes. Now you can add less or more Maggi. Remember guys, you have to make this to your liking. Just like everything else that I cook on this channel, make sure to taste along the way to be sure that it is the way that you like it. Next, we're gonna add some garlic powder and then one cup of the coconut milk and be sure to stir that as well. Now I'm gonna take a few of my cloves and press them into a piece of my bell pepper. And after rinsing it off, I'm gonna add it to my beans. I have also tied together some parsley and some thyme that I'm gonna add to my beans. Lastly guys, I add one scotch bonnet pepper in the pot before adding the water that my beans boiled in. And then I'm gonna let the water come to a boil. And again, I'm gonna be sure to taste along the way to make sure that it is to my liking. If there's anything that is missing, you can add it. If you need to add more water to cut out some of the saltiness, make sure you do that. While I let my water boil, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my rice. So for the rice guys, I do three cups of water for every one and a half to two cups of rice. You can do more or less, find the ratio that works for you. So here I'm gonna wash my rice, making sure to rub it together to get rid of any of the dirt or foreign object that may still be in my rice. So I wash my rice two to three times before adding it to my pot.
So guys, after adding all the rice to the pot, make sure to stir your rice and you're gonna let the water dry. Once the water dries, stir your rice once more and then cover it up and let it cook on low for another 15 to 20 minutes. Now guys, your rice is done and this is what it should look like. This rice was so delicious, guys. I absolutely love Haitian food. Do you love Haitian food? As you can see here, I am eating my rice with some drumsticks and some banana paste. I will definitely have those recipes coming up on the channel very soon. So guys, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Hit the notification bell to be notified of when I upload my next video. See you on the next video, guys. Bye.